Okay, we have the newer CM14 microphones 2-pack. I uh, got it for like $21, which strangely is the same price as one of them also on Amazon. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, I'll take it. Obviously the price could change, and I'll put a link to these in the description. Um, I've already installed one on my camera. We're using that right now to test the audio and hope that it's good because I'm going to be upset if it's not. We will unbox this one. I have an instruction manual and a bunch of stuff in lots of other languages like warranty information. One year warranty it says. So this looks like a furry windscreen. Just shedding a little bit. It feels awfully thick. I hope I can pick up sound through that. I'll have to do some further testing with that. So I believe is our shock mount. Shock mount has a tripod mount or a uh, hot shoe mount. Pretty handy. Our cables. The straight one is for your smartphone. They're labeled one end for the microphone and the straight end for your phone. They have different connections. That would explain why I couldn't get a microphone to work with my smartphone because it didn't have the right connection. And this is the connector. The coily one is the connector for the smart or for the um, DSLR camera. Both ends are the same tips. I don't know if you can see that. Basic little foam buffer uh, and the microphone itself which is solid metal pretty sweet and we can put a standard foam cover for your typical indoor use etc or we can put on the fuzzy beast and i believe you only really need this for windy conditions and, and the likes but and now you can run around with a tribble on your camera looks like a tribble doesn't it Looks just like a triple. So, I guess the next thing is going to be to see how well the audio came out on this. Cell phone with no microphone. Cell phone with microphone plugged in. DSLR built-in microphone. DSLR microphone plugged in. In conclusion, the CM14 microphone works great. The build is quality. The microphone itself is solid metal. The shock mount is a little flimsy, but a shock mount is, by nature is kind of flimsy because it won't absorb shock if it's not. Um, I'm very pleased. The audio quality is great. The price is great. If you are making videos on a budget, this is my recommendation, especially getting two for the price of one can't beat it. There'll be a link in the description that'll take you straight to Amazon where you can pick this up for yourself.